Hello again and welcome to another Plum Bum 2 vid. Well, we're doing a lot today. Uh, we got Today we're going to do another review on, which is a NES review, of Super Mario Brothers, which is also on the virtual console and, and on this controller. <laughs> this, and we've got to do the Super Oh yeah, and also, and also um, on here, Super Fan Mario and Power Mario are also Super Mario Brothers, but they just start at a different level. And we've got to show a little bit of um, multiplayer gameplay. As I'm going to be two player and then you're always one player. Yeah. Let's start. Right, so once again, you can got one player and two player game, and you've got to score, the amount of coins you got, what world you're in, and how much time you have. And let's start the game. We're going to do two player. World 1 1, six lives. Yeah, you have six lives to start with. It's a turn based. And, this is a platform game. And I'll uh, just kill an enemy by jumping on them. Jump is a uh, B button on this. Uh, y is to run. I think B is to run as well. Yeah, I think B is to run as well. And then we get different power ups like the mushroom to make you bigger for some reason. Which so uh, you can destroy these blocks as well. Uh, the question mark box are usually got a uh, coin in them, which 100 coins give you a life. Yeah, anyway, we've got more enemies. score by getting crushing the Goombas. It's not just Goombas, there's enemies. Yeah, you've yeah. also got Coopers, Ham uh, Ham Hammer Bros, uh, the Kutu yeah, with his spinies, Beetles, etc. You can go down pipes. Yeah, you go down pipes with Hulk pressing the down button. Only certain pipes you can go down though. Everyone knows. Because of Mario that. the Plumber. This is one of the most famous games ever made. It's the first Mario. And it's the first. I don't know if it's the first NES game though, I don't think it is. No. no. I think it's Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong. No, because that's an arcade game, so. Oh, right. That came out later on the NES. But I f it might be the first NES game, it might be. Because of the graphics, it's not It's not great graphics compared to the other f three, uh, the other two Mario Brothers on the NES. Yeah, but this is one of But this it was the just in first in development, so I'm not surprised. This is the second level. With the underground thing, there's another power up, which is the fire flower to enable you to fire uh, fireballs by pressing the X button. Sorry, not the Y one. Because I think, yeah, what it is, the B button and the B button and the X button are the same, and the A button and the uh, Y button do the same thing. So the Y button doesn't jump as high; the A one does, and the B one fires one flame at a time, and the t the Y one presses two flames at a time. Right, I'll show you the two player being in a minute once it's completed this level. The underground one. Another block there with loads of coins. You get points over it. There's, There's Coopers, coins. which you can hit their shells and then deflect them to something else. Let's click these coins. You have a time on it. Yeah. Uh, if the timer goes down, you're dead. You get yeah, you lose a life once the time's run out. Mm hmm. Is there a storm here? I think there is a star somewhere, I can't remember now. There's another, the power up, star power up. Oh, yeah. Which uh, makes you invincible. Is the walk side Somewhere here, I can't remember now. No, no. Okay, maybe not here then. Oh, yeah, you've also got piranha plants. There you go, I just died for you. So, you um, can show you what. Player 2 looks like, and you are is Luigi. Go Luigi, yes. <laughs> now, my brother is playing this game. Now, I can tell you a bit more about the game. It was released in 1981, if I remember correctly, by Nintendo, of course. There, and this is what started off the whole Mario game franchise basically, the Super Mario Brothers game, fully. Not the Donkey Kong game, really, because he was just called Jumpman then, not uh, Mario. And it was Donkey Kong that mainly starred in that game, throwing barrels and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, that, oh yeah, I didn't tell you this. <laughs> One idiot. Uh, the aim of the game is to save Princess Peach, which is called Princess Toadstool in this, because uh, I didn't call her Peach till the later games. Um, by going to the uh, through the eight ca eight worlds, the last castle in you the world, and every uh, after every four levels, when you go into the castle, you have to beat Bowser, uh, which is called King Cooper at the time. 
uh, by jumping over him of course and then hitting the axe to cut the bridge down and he falls into the lava classic uh, way of him kitten killing him well it doesn't you. actually kill him though and then um, after each castle that's not the last one uh, you get the toad saying that you need to go to the next world and then you go to the next world and also you got uh, which hopefully my brother will be able to show the warp zone which warps you to a, a world quickly which usually people use for speed runs so you can, uh, this one I think you can go up to world 4, yeah that's right, world 4. He looks the same, Luigi looks the same when he looks. Yeah, Luigi uh, looks the same in fire, when he's fire Luigi, for some reason. I think because he's got a white shirt on. So it would look exactly the same if he had fire Luigi if he's green. Uh, this game has been remixed so many times on other consoles like the Game of Advance. Etc. Uh, the Super Mario All Stars on the SNES, which is pretty good. It's not on this though. Yeah, this is probably the only Super Mario game on there. All right, my brother just died now, so let's go back. Right, I'll show you the other two. What I meant by this, like, you start off with let's do Power Mario. If you press the different buttons like A, etc., you can change the world thing. If you look up the top, it says two one. 2-1 there, if my brother points to it, there, look. look. And you go up to 2-4. So that, oops. So that you start world 2-4 from this one. Which is the castle. Oh yeah, I can show you Bowser from here. I'll try and beat him. It's basically just a warp thing, really. So, uh, yeah. Oh damn it, I got hit. Oh, well, I've never done this castle before in ages. There's oh, Bowser. that was very close there. That was Bowser's flame. He shoots flames at you, I'll tell you what, I dodge him. Well, everyone knows Yeah, the, the pool of blood there. Stop flying. Stop flying. Lava. Lava, sorry. There's Bowser. Bowser. You have to beat Bowser. Bowser looks a bit weird. Damn it. So the axe there, you got to hit the axe, right there. Now let's show you a uh, Sun Fan Mario, which does World 4. <coughs> See, starts at World 4. Still you can do the warp thing. This one has... And there's ah, Lakutu, shooting his spinies. No, I just suck at this game. That's so annoying. And that is it for this review. Uh, of Super Mario Brothers 1. Uh, hopefully, what do you reckon our next review will be? Um, next review is. Um, I still. I don't know, I think we should do Donkey do, Kong. We're doing Donkey Kong? Yeah, don't do Donkey. Do another review of two games again Donkey Kong 1 and Donkey Kong 3, which is on this. None got Donkey Kong 2, because I never played that before. I think that's Donkey Kong Jr. Might be but we do Donkey Kong Jr. in a. Another review because it's got two games of that as well the maths one and the normal one. And the that is the maths one. Oh, and that is it for this uh, video. Please See subscribe you. to uh, Plum Bum 2 by the Orange Button and give this uh, video a five star review, five star rating, I mean. And uh, add this to your favourites if you yeah. want to. Uh, Goodbye. Hope, hope to see you again for the next review coming up, which will be put on the same day hopefully I can do it uh, yeah that's it goodbye